friends. How's everybody doing today? Look at our calendar. Where did all of our numbers go? You know what? It's a new month and it's a new day. So let's start our day. So that way we can learn about what month it is and where all of our numbers went. Are you ready? Okay. It's time to start our day. It's time to start our day. It's time to give a great big cheer and then be on our way. Hooray! Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you? How are you today? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? How are you today? How are you, friends? Are you ready to start our calendar and have some fun today? I also have a little story that I'm going to read to you at the end, too. You know what we have to do? We have to stand up because you see the flag up there. We have to say a pledge of allegiance. So let's all get up and let's stand up and let's look at the flag. Let's hold our right hand up, put it over your heart, and let's say the pledge of allegiance. Are you ready? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Now we can sit back down and we can start our calendar. And we think the first thing that we have to do is we have to find out what day is today. So everybody hold up your fingers, wiggle them really, really, really good. All right, let's count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold it back up again and let's count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, you ready? Let's sing our song. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And let's sing it the other way that we know. Ready? Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. All right, so I left the 30 up here, which was yesterday, because yesterday was April 30th. And if you remember, April 30th was the last day of the month. There were only 30 days in the month of April. So now we are starting a new month. So it is not April anymore. This was April, and now we can put that card away because it's not April anymore, it's a new month. So we're gonna have to see what new month it is. But first, we're gonna find out what number is here. So since it's the first day of the month, we're going to take the number 30 away and we're going to put up the number one because it is the first day of a new month. And we are going to put that right here because today is Friday. And we know today is Friday because yesterday, the day that came before Friday was Thursday. So everybody say this word out loud, Thursday. And there's that TH again. Do you remember what that sound makes? How you make that sound? Put your tongue between your teeth and go. And that's what the TH says. Right? Because the T makes the T, -t sound. If you just look at the T alone, it says T. And then if you see the H and you just look at the H alone, it says H. -h. But if you say TH, that's a. Okay. So Thursday, let's say the letters T-H-U-R-S-D-A-Y, Thursday. That was yesterday. So if Thursday was yesterday, then we know that today is Friday because Friday comes after Thursday. So let's say the word Friday and let's spell it out and learn our letters. F-R-I-D-A-Y, Friday. So that is today. So if today is Friday, what day comes after Friday? That's right, it's Saturday, this big long word, Saturday. S 
A T U R D A Y Saturday. So that's going to be tomorrow. So today is Friday. Today is Friday. All day long. All day long. Yesterday was Thursday. Tomorrow will be Saturday. Today is Friday. All day long. All right. So today's Friday. Tomorrow was Thursday, and I mean, yesterday was Thursday, and tomorrow will be Saturday, and tomorrow is going to be Saturday, and that is a weekend day, so we're not going to have calendar or story time tomorrow. Um, so we are on Friday the 1st, and let's find out what month we're in. Let's see what month comes after April. All right, you ready? January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. All right, so we were in April. It's not April anymore. We are now in May. May is the new month because May comes after April. January, February, March, and April, May. That's where we are all the flowers so may has a lot of sun and the flowers grow and the bees come out and we water our flowers to make them grow so this is may m-a-y may all right so let's find the card that says may all right so that's may and that is the month that we are in so it is still oops, it is still 2020 2020, that is still the year. All right, let's find out what our date is. Ready? Today is May, today is May, May 1st, May 1st, 2020, 2020, May 1st, 2020, and it is a Friday. We are still in the season of spring. This is spring, S-P-R-I-N-G, spring. And remember, there are four seasons, fall, winter, spring, and summer, and we are in spring. All righty. So I have a special book for my friends, and it is called Inside, Outside, Upside Down. And it is by Stan and Jan Berenstain. And that is who wrote the book. So let's find out. This is also a Dr. Seuss book. So he wrote the book too. All right, let's see. Inside, outside, upside down. So he is going in the box. And now he's inside the box. And he closed the box and he's inside the box. Uh-oh, he's upside down. And now he's inside a box, upside down. Now he's going out. And now he's outside. And now he's outside, inside a box, and upside down. And now he's going on. He's going on to the truck. And now he's on a truck, outside, inside of a box, and Upside down. Look, he's upside down. And now he's going. I wonder where he's going. I wouldn't like to go anywhere upside down. That would make me dizzy. I would get sick. Going to town on a truck, outside, inside a box, upside down. Uh oh, he's falling off. He's off the truck. Look, the truck is going away, and he fell off the truck, and now he's up, now he's right side up, but he's off the truck, and now he's coming out of the box, and now he's right side up, and he's walking away from the box and going down the hill. Mama, mama, I went to town, inside, outside, upside down. the end. Okay, so for your homework for the weekend, I want you to find something that's inside, find something that's outside, 
and find something that's upside down. Okay. Have a wonderful weekend. It's time to say goodbye. And I will see you all on Monday for our calendar and our story time again. And everybody hold up your hands. You ready? This is the way we say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. This is the way we say goodbye at school every day. We give each other high fives, high fives, high fives. We give each other high fives when we say goodbye. Hi, friends. I miss you all so much. You have a wonderful weekend. Don't forget to find things that are inside, outside, and upside down. Maybe you can draw a really pretty picture and you can send me some pictures because I miss you all so much. Have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you all on Monday. Bye, friends.